What is going on guys and girls, today we have got for you a Nations on Vacation squad builder, that means that we choose a nation and we create a squad full of players from that nation that don't play in their home league. Today we have chosen Nigeria so it's going to be a little bit easy because the Nigerian league isn't actually on FIFA, but nevertheless, let's get into this. We go for Kyle Ikeme who plays for Wolves in the Championship and he was actually quite a solid goalkeeper. Despite the fact that he's only 67 overall, he pulled off some pretty good saves and didn't, didn't make too many mistakes as well. So so he was quite good. The first of the centre backs we have got is a guy called Omaruo, and he plays, I believe that is Ado Den Haag in the Eredivisie, and he was quite fast. He's got 72 pace. He seemed to have quite a good acceleration. He didn't get left for dead too much. We played against a guy who had S. Vine and Royce up front, of course, on FIFA. You're going to get that. And he actually didn't get left for dead that much. Speaking of people that didn't get left for dead that much, we have got Danny Shit, who plays for Millwall, and he's, he's built like a brick shit house he is absolutely huge anybody who's seen him play in real life you know how big this guy is he hasn't got a lot of pace however he's got so much strength and people just could not get around him he was really really quite good a lot better than what i was expecting we've got this guy center back i'm not going to try to pronounce his last name but he was pretty much as good as the guy on the left he's this the uh, silver guy this guy is a bronze top level bronze at 64 rated and he was quite reliable although this defense isn't the best rated it was actually quite good i conceded about five or six goals i actually went on a spree where i only conceded one goal in four games so they were quite good the last game i kind of went to crap but that was my fault we've got man of the match john obi mikel First of the centre defensive mids, I've used him before in a Russian slash BPL squad builder and he was phenomenal then. Used him again and again, He's he just bosses the midfield, he wins tackles, he's good on the ball, he's good at passing. Same with this guy, we have got Joel Obi who plays for Inter Milan and again he's similar to Mikel, he's a little bit faster, maybe not as good defensively but a lot better on the ball. He's, these two balance each other, like they balance each other out very very well. We've got Obi who's Really good at distributing the ball, he's really fast, he can have a shot as well, left footed. We've got Mukel, who is a lot more defensive, but again, good on the ball, good at passing. Not as quick, but if you're going to go for someone who needs pace, then Obi's there anyway, just to back him up, if you know what I mean. Like They kind of like complement each other, it's hard to describe what I'm trying to say. On the right hand side of the field, we have got Victor Moses, and I'm going to say he was quite a disappointment. I was really hoping it'd be good because, you know, man and match card. I understand there's only 77 overall, but he's quite fit, uh, quite thick, quite fast, as that was a mixture of fast and quick there, by the way. But uh, his dribbling is really good as well, but it just didn't feel, he just didn't seem to be that good for me. I preferred John Utaka, who's on the left hand side. Maybe it's because he's right footed on the left hand side, so that means you can cut inside and shoot. Surprisingly, his weak foot is free star. He actually felt a lot better than that. He did a couple of crosses with his left foot, and it was actually really quite good. John Utaka has got bags of pace as well, by the way. At Cam, we decided to go for Emenike. I could have stuck him up front and changed one of the strikers to a Cam, but I decided to stick Emenike at Cam because of his brilliant long shots. I've used him before plenty of times. I know he's quick. I know he's good at dribbling. I know he's strong. I know he's good at heading. I know he's good at long shots. He's just an out and out, out and out perfect striker so good so i decided to bring him down into the cam position to utilize his long shots and it worked a treat for me scored a few goals for him and it was really really quite good odin Vingi, we decided to stick him up top and i've never used him before i was expecting quite a lot from him because i've, I've heard people say that he's quite a good player on it him and aurora Kone up front really underpowered but overpowered at the same time i used him and he just, he didn't seem that great. He seemed very, very weak on the ball, but he was fairly quick. He, the 81 pace he had seemed a little bit like a lie. He seemed a lot quicker than that. I think it was 81 pace anyway. We've got Oberfemi Martins. He's definitely not got a lack of pace. This guy is so quick. It's unreal. He's got a beautiful shot on him as well. He can score from pretty much anywhere with his five-star weak foot. I only scored one goal with him this time, but every other time I have used him, he seemed to just like bad goals for fun really good team this one was very this team was very fun and enjoyable to play with i would advise trying them out if you had if you have enjoyed this video guys please remember to leave a like comment and as always subscribe
Don't wanna cry a river I see you standing